to the training flight on the employment of precision guided munitions PGM. In this lesson, we'll practice using the Lightning II targeting pod TGP to engage ground targets with laser and satellite guided bombs. I've engaged the autopilot to keep us level and on course. Manage the throttle to maintain airspeed above 200 knots. Press the space bar key when you are ready to begin. The A-10C is equipped with two types of PGM, laser guided bomb, LGB, and inertially aided munition, IM. LGB munitions home in on the laser energy reflected from a target being painted by a laser designator, such as the one installed on the Lighting 2 targeting pod, TGP, or from another source on the ground or in the air. This makes it possible for another platform to provide designation or buddy lays while the firing platform remains passive. The laser-guided GBUs guided bomb unit carried by the A-10C include the GBU-10 and GBU-12. These are essentially Mark 84 and Mark 82 general purpose unguided bombs equipped with a paved weight 2 LGB kit, which adds a laser seeker to the nose and a set of retractable control fins on the tail of the bomb. One advantage of the lighter GBU-12 is that up to three can be carried on triple ejector racks, tiers, on stations 3, 4, 8, and 9. Press the space bar key to proceed. IMs carried by the A-10C include the Joint Directed Attack Munition, JDAM, and the Wind Corrected Munition Dispenser, WCMD, often pronounced Wickman. Like the Paveway 2, JDAM is a GBU conversion of the Mark 82 and Mark 84 unguided bombs. However, JDAM utilizes a GPS receiver to determine target and own position. The advantage of using satellite navigation is that, unlike optical systems, it is unaffected by weather conditions. It's also passive and provides a fire and forget capability to the firing platform, allowing more than one target to be engaged at a time. The A-10C is equipped with the GBU-31 2,000-pound JDAM and the GBU-38 500-pound JDAM. Press the space bar key to proceed. The CBU-103 WCMD is a conversion of the CBU-87 cluster bomb. An inertial navigation system, INS, is added to the weapon to provide autonomous guidance toward the target. Like the JDAM, this makes the weapon passive and provides fire and forget capability to the firing platform. Let's now review our payload on the DSMS page by pressing OSB 14 on the left MFCD. We are carrying two GBU-12s on stations 4 and 8, and two GBU-38s on stations 5 and 7. We are also carrying the Lighting 2 targeting pod, TGP, on Station 2, and two Captive AIM-9Ms on Station 11. Press OSB-1 to enter the profile main page. Press OSB-19 to cycle to the GBU-12 profile, and then press OSB-3 to enter the profile control page. Press OSB-10 to change the default profile to CCRP. Then press OSB-16 to enter the Profile Settings page. The Auto LS Auto Laser Rotary on OSB-6 selects between automatic and manual laser firing. When set to on, the laser is fired automatically after weapon release. The LS time setting on OSB-17 sets the time in seconds before bomb impact for the laser to fire. When set to zero, the laser will not fire. When set to a value greater than the projected time of fall, the laser will fire immediately after weapon release. When auto laser is set to off, the laser is fired manually by the pilot using the HOTAS nose wheel steering button or the insert key on the keyboard. If the latch option of the TGP is also set to off, the laser only fires as long as the nose wheel steering button is held down. The SOLN solution rotary on OSB-16 selects between ORP, optical release point, and BAL, ballistic release point solution cues for a CCRP release. Turn on auto lays with OSB-6. Set the LS time value to 10 seconds by entering 10 into the UFC scratch pad, followed by OSB-17. Press OSB-3 to save the changes to this profile. Press OSB-19 to switch to the GBU-38 profile, and then OSB-3 to view the profile control page. Once again, the options on the profile control page are familiar. Let's take a look at the profile settings page with OSB-16. As you can see, there are no unique options specific to the GBU-38 profile settings. Let's bring the left MFCD back to the tab page with OSB-15. Employing PGMs from the A-10C is relatively straightforward. 
All you need to do is designate the target point as the center point of interest B and release the weapons in CCRP mode. To begin, set the TGP to air to ground AG mode by pressing OSB2 on the right MFCD. It's usually best to prepare for the engagement while keeping the target at your 2 or 10 o'clock position. Otherwise, you run the risk of running over the target before you are finished setting up for the attack. In this case, the weapons range is co-located with waypoint 4, range. We can use this waypoint to cue the TGP to the target. Set your steer point for waypoint 4, range. Now slave all sensors to speed by pressing the Hotes China Hat Forward Long Command or the V key on the keyboard. You should now be looking directly at the target array range. Note that although the TGP can see out to a great range, you generally want to be under 20 miles for visual detection of a target. Make the TGP your soy by pressing the Hotel's Cooley Hat Right Long Command or hold the K key on the keyboard. Change the Field of View FOV setting to Narrow by pressing the Hotel's China Hat Forward Short Command or the V key on the keyboard. To get a closer view of the target area, you can zoom in by holding the Hotel's Demons Up Command or Home key on the keyboard. Your first target is on the southeast corner of the array, now marked with red smoke. Slew the TGP to the target using the Hotel Slew Control or semicolon, comma, period, forward slash key commands on the keyboard. Once the crosshairs are over the target, press the Hotel's Tmus Up Command or left control and up arrow keys on the keyboard to set the TGP to area track mode. Repeat the command to set the TGP to point track mode. Now make the target your new speed by pressing the hold test team is up long command or holding the left control and up arrow keys on the keyboard. As we approach the range, bring up the DSMF page on the left MFCD. Warning, by autopilot. 14. Press the select down rocker key on the UFC to select the GBU-12 profile and make sure the HUD is in CCRP mode. Autopilot is now off. You have control. Now maneuver the aircraft to line up the asthma steering line, ASL, with the projected bomb impact line, p bill of the CCRP reticle. When you are about 20 seconds from the release point, a time to release numeric TTRN will appear adjacent to the solution queue at the top of the ASL. About 5 seconds before release, the solution queue and TTRN will begin to move down the ASL toward the CCRP reticle. At that point, you need to press and hold the weapon release button and the bomb will separate as the solution queue passes through the reticle. Monitor the projected time to impact countdown displayed on the bottom right corner of the right MFCD and also the left side of the HUD below the airspeed indication. Keep the crosshairs over the target. Nice hit. Let's separate out a bit and we'll use a GBU-38 for the second pass. Press the select rocker key on the UFC once more to select the GBU-38 profile. Your second target is on the northwest corner of the array, now marked with red smoke. Locate the target with the TGP and begin a gentle left-hand turn to line up for the second pass. Mark the target as the new SPI and begin tracking Warning, in either area or point track mode.
IM release indication is similar to LGB CCRP release. Range carrots are indicated inside the reticle for maximum and minimum range. As you approach the release point, the ASL will begin to fall down the HUD, and the range bar of the reticle will begin to unwind. When the range bar is between the maximum and minimum range carriage of the reticle, press and hold the weapon's release button until the bomb separates. Releasing the weapon's release button too quickly may result in a hung store error. This concludes the training lesson on the employment of precision guided munitions. You have a single GBU-12 and GBU-38 remaining to practice if you wish. Warning, autopilot. 